Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing Lady Gaga telephone look and I bought the props um, I'll show you at the end, I hope you like the finished look I've already done one eye for quickness I've also already done the primer on this eye I've just used a light one, I've used that one there rather than the dark one so off we go first I'm going to start by applying not doing a very good start of this am I? Right, quickly, quickly. So I'm applying this, and it is the porcelain dust. And I like this one because it's a nice white without it being too white. And I'm just applying that all over the eyelid there like that. And then we get right into the eyebrow bone. Really lift that up and highlight it out. I'm not worried about this area too much because I'm going to be putting some colour. Now I've made an eyelid because I don't have one as big as hers. I actually wish I did. I wish I had big eyelids, but I don't. They're very small. So there's my natural crease in there, look. And I've made a pretend one with the shadow in. But it's a little bit too brown. But I hope you like anyway. So let's get cracking. So then I'm going to take, on top of that, this here. And it's by Urban Decay. And it's called Illegal. And I'm just gently putting a little bit on the end of my brush there. And I'm going to just push that gently up towards the eyebrow, the inner brow part just to really start shading it out and defining it and then I'm only going to bring it to the outer part of the eye so no further it's just to get that colour going on and the start of a pretend eyelid or at least a trite there anyway so just a little bit more just to darken that out a little I'm going to go in with some MAC as well in a minute I just want to get the shading effect going on and we're not lifting it too high you want to leave a bit of the eyebrow bone as well so now I'm going to go in with the same brush and I'm going to start applying the dark brown and this is I'm sure it's um, Swiss chocolate maybe it's, it's a dark brown There's not. it's a matte dark brown but anyway start the outer corner and I'm going to bring that round in a circular motion on top of that Urban Decay colour illegal and I'm going to bring that right into the brow bone just making sure it goes right in now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that white again And I'm going to just gently pop it back over the eyelid area so it looks like I've got a bigger eyelid. Go right out. And then I'm going to take that brown again and I'm going to dampen it on a wet wipe so it's nice and damp ready for this bit. Dab it into the brown like that. Looks more red on camera but it's not. And then I'm going to gently just line it a little bit more to define it. And then you can bring it up and out a little bit. Just blend it so it's not so harsh. Just going back over gently with the white just to make sure it's not all over and it's not too dark in the corner I just want a gentle flush now I'm going to take some liquid liner this time and the reason I'm using liquid liner I want to get it done quick for you so the timing doesn't fly or run out and I'm using MAC and it's boot black and I'm going to just gently put my little finger here on my cheek Make sure you've got a clean finger and you haven't got makeup on it or it'll cover you. And all I was doing there was creating a thick line. I want a really thick line. Get as close to the lash line as possible. And 
and then when I've done that I'm going to go right into the inner corner just gently and I'm kind of bringing that onto the inner part of the nose like that side and then on the outer corner go back over that and darken it a bit more outer corner I'm going to bring it up Now for underneath, I want a sharpened pencil. I'm using this actually because I like it at the moment. And I tried to get use a Chanel one that's similar and it wasn't as good. So what I'm doing is, I'm taking this pencil and it's by Estee Lauder. It's a double wear crayon and it's onyx. And I'm going to just gently pull this down. Get me waterline covered first. Go right into the inner corner. And now for underneath, we're going to just join up on there, on the outer corner like that. And we're going to bring it down nice and thick. And we're just going to push that through the lash line. And then it will gently taper out taper in sorry as you get to the inner corner so you don't want to load and you don't want it as thick as you do have it on the outer corner got covered in lashes there so there you've got the outline of the, the eyes really dark and heavy now we're going to take a bit of mascara don't want a lot just not wearing a lot just to darken the lashes out really so I'm going to get that little bit on there now just gently push it right into the roots and this is MAC mascara, it's mascara X in black I actually used to love this stuff and then I got onto the plush lash it's different brushes but it doesn't really matter for this look because you're not really concentrating on the lashes you want them to mostly just be darkened out so we're not going full force with them so even if they stay down it doesn't matter now for the brows I'm using stud again because it's the only dark brown thing I have and I don't really I can't find my powder which I'm about but anyway they're going to circle these out so I'm going to start right on the inner part of the brow as close in as I can get rid of that I'm going to just remove that gently I've got one fingernail painted because I've been messing about reviewing stuff and I took all the rest off I want to really darken the brows out and kind of circle them at the front they're going to be like really circled and then I'm going to bring that up and back And then I'm going to bring it down on the arch, but I want to bring it down as close to this line as possible. So you're going right the way down, further down than you would usually go. Now for the fun part, the lips. Actually, no, I'm going to put some stuff on. I'm going to put some powder on. First of all, I applied a little bit of the Portofino. Where have I put it? There we go. It's the multiple. And I wanted that just a tiny little bit. I don't want a lot, but I've just got a bit of colour coming in right here. Now that looks scary, I know, but I'm going to blend it out. So I'm going to blend it out with a little bit of this. And it's Light Scapade by MAC. I think it's discontinued. You will be able to find it on eBay probably, but you see, I'm going to blend that right out. 
even use your finger if you have to. Just to give a little bit of cheek colour but not much. And then put the light capade over the top of it to lighten that out. And then what I'm going to do is take the brush I used for the white and just gently put a little bit under here. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just to line it out, go right up to that line. Now for the lips. Now onto the fun stuff. Now I've got So Scarlet and I've got MAC Red. And what I want to do is I want to create a dark base first. And then I'm going to clean up and go over the top of that with matte red. And this is all it's more like a bluey red. Very nice. Make sure we remove any little marks. Ooh. What's happened there? I wonder. But there you go. There's your Lady Gaga, the end look while she's while she's driving away in the Beyonce. I really hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned because I've got more Alice in Wonderland series makeup looks coming. More from the telephone video. Um, I'm just picking some looks that not already been done, overly, overly done, because that's the. Uh, I don't like copying, and I've noticed a lot of people have done all the different looks already, so I'm trying to find ones that are not done so much. And same with the Alice in Wonderland ones, I've got some ideas which I think you're going to like, and I've got some props coming. And what else? Um, oh, yes, and the Rihanna one. And it's not the Rihanna Rude Boy you'll be thinking, it's a different one. And I spotted it in the video, and I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to do that soon. So stay tuned. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because it means the world to us and it means you get updated when the new videos are out. So there you go. And I hope you enjoyed. Zoom, zoom. Hiya, everyone. See, look at the things that I do for you. Don't I look silly? I made my own, I, th I don't know what you would call it. I would say shroud. But I'm not too sure. It's the hat type of thing with the the drape at the end when they're in the car and they're getting away. I made it myself <laughs> out of a, a cowboy hat because I, I knew they had some big sides. So it's got a cowboy hat underneath and and a nice cornflower blue sheet. Which I don't even like cornflower blue. But I thought it would be so funny to make and I thought it would just add a bit extra fun to the video. I really hope you've enjoyed. You see? See what you're missing? <laughs> zoom, zoom.